start the second half. Moments ago, Matt Steinmetz caught up with the Warrior assistant, Larry Riley. All right, Coach, you're up 11. You would seem to have the pace like you want. Uh, what's the point of emphasis in the second half? We've got to do something about our defense. We started the game with good defensive intensity, but just individual coverage on Garcia and Salmons are really important to us. Now, obviously, you know, they're, they're going to score some points, but if we could work on those two guys, uh, that's going to be a big issue for us the second half. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck. Right on cue, Al Harrington beginning the second half with the lefty layup, but Larry Riley hit on it, Jim, what you were talking about, Salmons and Martin. I mean, that's right. another guy's going to be aware of Garcia, too. Garcia, yeah. Garcia off the bench. Kings score 102 a game. They're perfectly capable offensively. Salmons then deflected, got it back, and put it in. He let loose to the ball. Otherwise, it would have been jump. Had some very quick hands, quick thinking, and he stayed with the play. So Baron Monte Al Harrington. Deidrin Steven Jackson for the Warriors. Harrington, same play. <laughs> same play. Deidrin followed in the miss. You know, whether it be Monte, Deidrin, Brandon Wright, Crozier, the Warriors are not anticipating layups being made. They are there to follow these at the rim tonight. There haven't been a lot of rebounds because both teams are shooting the lights out. Kevin Martin, unbelievable. You look up. And Martin, you see him at four of six, but then he's got 19. I was gonna say, they did a pretty good job on him, except he got to the line 11, 13 times in that first half. And that ball kicked. Shot clock will stay at 14. Mikey Moore with Spencer Hawes. John Salmons, Kevin Martin, and Anthony Johnson. No Brad Miller, no Ron Artest, but it's the same group that beat Denver in Denver Saturday night. 36 in that game. Harrington again. Al Harrington is giving it to the Warriors tonight. 15 points on 5 of 10 shooting. And it's just what Don Nelson needs from Al. Mickey Moore worked on that shot, finished second to Beadrench a year ago in field goal percentage. Only his first shot of the night because he's at the three fouls. They wheeling, floating, Beadrich battling, tipping, and Salmons comes up with it. They've got Johnson down here. And that's just too easy. And that's the thing for the Warriors. Is they get casual here. This is a this is a scary time. That's you know, you, you've got five games left. This is the first of them, and the Kings just keep pouring it on. You just hope you just continue to score yourself. Yeah, the, the Kings are shooting 55%. Beadrich regains. Mikey Moore bothered him. Harrington's there. And Mikey Moore sends him away. Got a trailer coming. Anthony Johnson wants the rookie to set a screen on Barron. They just set him up for a pick and pop. Ball's missing there. Harrington with the rebound. Al's been active tonight. Five boards, two assists with the 15 points. Yeah, Johnson went away for that screen on purpose. Monte and Kevin Martin, that's a fun matchup, but that jumper ricocheting out. So now the Warriors at 55%, the Kings at 54% shooting. Jackson deflected that pass, but Beadrinch held on to Hawes and fouled him. Jack, another quiet game offensively, only six points, one of four shooting. Jackson averages 21 a game, and they need him to really be himself offensively. There's a foul there. Martin. Martin's going to get two more free throws. And he was fouled. There's no question. Kevin Martin, second and most improved behind Monte last year. Drafted 26 and 04 out of Western Carolina and 2.9 points his first year, then up to 11, then up to 20. And right now, at 23.7, as Jim mentioned, six best in the NBA. This is another one, though, from the line, which is uncharacteristic. Well, he's getting tired. You know, 15 free throws, he's wearing out. He, he shot 24 ones this year, made 22 of them. How about that? 24 attempts, his career high this year in free throws. Monte was fouled on that drive. 
Here's the improvement of Kevin Martin after the 2.9, which has not shown his first year. Mikey Moore picking up his fourth foul. It's a nice progression from Martin. Pretty remarkable, as a matter of fact. Shot clock down to five. That zone bothering Barron. Missing there. Beadrench tipping a new possession. That's what I talked about earlier with it. He gives you more possessions with those offensive rebounds without fouling and going over the back. Jackson all day to set it up and drops it in. And who's the man looking for Jackson? It's Monte Ellis with assist number seven. And Andres Bedrins was super setting a little partial screen. But dribble drive challenge, bring them in. A little bounce pass out. Spencer Hawes, nice little step around. Spencer Hawes has some skills. It's a nice pick with the 10th selection. We already have Brad Miller, but Hawes can play a little bit. He's got eight points and three boards tonight. Had a foot injury earlier in the year. Harrington a little show and go. Flipping it up and in. Al not living at the three-point line. A beautiful drive there. And Harrington seven in the third. We've seen Al Harrington score points in bunches. And Denver beating up on L.A. Warriors need to win tonight and hold serve as Salmons buries a three. Salmons with 16. Well, the Warriors know they've got to keep scoring. That's for sure. Monte can get the English off glass. Here comes Martin, 100 miles an hour. Right. Dangerous on the open floor. And He's not going to back down from anyone. He's going to take that all the way. Monte, a little penetration. Steven Jackson. But watch Andres Biedrins down here as he comes up to set a screen. So they can't get to Jackson. That's just, not, you know what? That's not scripted. That's just him reacting. And if he doesn't set that, Haas is seven feet tall. It yeah. makes that a much more bothersome shot for Jackson. Without question. And that, that's just basketball intuitiveness. Martin, this is free throw number 17 for Kevin Martin. 14 of 17 free throwing. I'm thinking as he's scoring here of the Hall and Frame uh, enshrining Adrian Dantlin. Yes. Or AD yeah. would have, you know, five or six field goal attempts and a gazillion free throws. Barron with a rebound of the putback. Probably the toughest part of that was going to get and uh, retrieve the ball initially. Barron Davis with 22. Beadrins the steal. Warriors have had rare opportunities to run here in the second half. Jackson, step back on Salmons, rimming that out, Beadrinch again. Harrington for three and shot it long. You see that kind of fly out of Al's hands. Mikey Moore and Barron took it away and then Moore fouls him. Mikey Moore thought he was home free, picks up foul number five and Baron Davis like a cat burglar inside. Beautiful pass from Udrich, but Barron just knocked it away. Great anticipation, great hands. Did he step out of bounds? He was doing a little tightrope walk there. So Sheldon Williams had six points and three boards. Mikey Moore just kind of a lost evening. 21 minutes, but the five fouls. Warrior lead was 11 at halftime. He pushed it as high as 14, but the Kings... They've been good here in the third. Jackson is fouled. A couple possessions ago, Beedrins. They were trying a little lock and lob, but Mikey Moore came over, didn't get there in time because Barron had Udrich locked up. Same setup now. They post up Barron. Wheels and illegal defense. <laughs> you, you may have heard. Uh, Dolby 5.1, Don Nelson yelling illegal. <laughs> and Joe DeRosa and Ed Malloy agreed. So a technical free throw after the mandatory timeout. 5.57 remaining in the third. Warriors, four starters in double figures. Steven Jackson coming to life with a three. 